All right. So if we go ahead and take a look at the next one, this one's nice because the units already match each other. Um, even if we had decided to take them all into meters, just because we decided we had to, um, those conversions would even cancel each other and we'd get the same answer. So it's not, not necessarily due here. One thing we are going to have to pay attention to, though, is we need to make sure that we have fair comparison of measurements. Um, and what I mean by that is that the crank handles, so think of something like um, if you've ever picked up a gooseneck trailer, you turn that handle around, or like in cartoons where you see the, the handle that turns the rope that picks up the bucket from the well, right? So the crank handle, that's going to end up being a radius because it goes around in a circle and it starts from the middle. So it's only half the circle, so that's radius. Whereas this other part says diameter. And that's not okay. That would be like comparing students for scholarships and only using half of one student's GPA and all of another student's GPA. It's just not fair to compare that way. So let's go ahead and fix that. So a diameter is 2 times radius, which means that if I take 25.63 and I multiply it by 2, then I'm going to get that this diameter is... Uh, 51.26 and then now they're both diameters and everything's fair so uh, mechanical advantage again we're looking for a length ratio distance ratio in this case I suppose you could call it a diameter ratio uh, we once we have this information think about the input versus the output so because you're pulling on the handle trying to turn this thing around, that's where you're putting in effort, and that's going to have the I subscript. And then the thing, whatever axle in the middle is what you're trying to turn. So again, that could be turning in a trailer, could be spooling up rope, whatever. Um, but that's going to be where the output goes. So we've got 51.2. 26 centimeters here and then the diameter for the other one 2.56 centimeters there so diameter compared to diameter centimeters compared to centimeters everything's as fair as we can possibly make it we just need to divide these out cancel the units and see what we get so according to the handy dandy calculator it appears to be 20.2